there's nothing quite like the thrill of a treasure hunt. And for history buffs, there's nothing more exciting than finding a lost artifact that can shed light on a different time period. In recent years, there have been some amazing treasure and artifact finds that have captivated the imagination. So today, we will be shedding light on 10 most incredible recent treasure hunt finds. The first discovery that we are going to discuss today is the Terracotta Army. Farmers in China's Zhangji region unintentionally found one of the 20th century's largest archaeological finds, Emperor Qin Shi Huang's life-size Terracotta Army. Historians know that the finely carved statues were designed to defend China's first emperor in the afterlife. What is unknown is where the emperor is buried or what valuables his burial chamber may contain. A mile to the northwest of where the Terracotta Army was unearthed is a pyramid-shaped tomb. According to historical sources documenting its creation, the emperor's ultimate resting place is the most sumptuous tomb ever built in China. The mausoleum, a subterranean mansion with the surrounding kingdom, is built up of a network of tunnels and even has a cutting-edge drainage system. So, what do you think? Will archaeologists ever have the technology needed to properly explore the tomb, which also contains unusually high quantities of mercury remains? It is one of the countless valuables that lie there. Next, we will talk about the ancient animal trap. Low stone walls crisscrossing the deserts of Israel, Egypt, and Jordan have baffled archaeologists ever since their discovery by pilots in the early 20th century. Scientists termed the chain of lines kites because of their look from the sky. It dates back to 300 BC but were abandoned long ago. A new research claims that the objective of the kites was to funnel wild animals into a tiny pit where they could be readily slain in great numbers. This efficient approach shows that local hunters understood more about the habits of local species than previously supposed. It's amazing, isn't it? Nazca Line is the next discovery on our list. The Peruvian Nazca Lines are not recognizable when viewed from the ground. However, when seen from the air, where they were originally noticed by commercial planes in the 1920s and 1930s, they are breathtaking. Archaeologists agree that the hundreds of enormous shapes, ranging from geometric lines to complex depictions of animals, plants, and imaginary figures, were created over 2,000 years ago by people of the pre-Inca Nazca culture, who simply removed the red surface pebbles to reveal the lighter earth beneath in designs of their choice. Why they did so remains a mystery, causing conspiracy theorists to speculate about extraterrestrial landings and ancient astrology. Archaeologists believe the lines were most likely used for ceremonial contact with the Nazca deities. Up next, we will talk about Gobekli Tepe. Beginning about 8000 BC, humans established permanent settlements, cultivated, and then erected temples in that sequence. Did they or didn't they? What's your opinion on it? An incredible archaeological find unearthed in 1994 at Gobekli Tepe, a remote area of Turkey, has shattered that idea, raising fresh issues about the emergence of civilization. Gobekli Tepe, which dates from the 10th millennium BC, has many rings of massive stone pillars engraved with animal motifs and is considered the world's oldest temple of devotion. However, evidence shows that the people who erected it were semi-nomadic hunters who were probably unfamiliar with agriculture, which arrived in the region five centuries later. Archaeologists must now determine which arrived first as a result of Gobekli Tepe. Did construction initiatives like these usually lead to settlement, rather than vice versa? The next discovery which we are going to discuss is the disappearance of the Sanjing Dewey. A laborer working on a sewage drain in China's Sichuan region discovered a rich trove of jade and stone items in 1929. Private collectors acquired these items, and archaeologists excavating in the region discovered two more holes rich in metal-aged treasures, including jade, elephant tusks, and bronze statues in 1986. But who buried these enigmas? Researchers now assume that the items were created by members of the Sanjing Dewey civilization, which perished between 3000 and 2800 years ago. Archaeologists have discovered that the Sanjing Dewey previously lived in a walled city on the banks of the Minjiang River. But why they left the city and why they buried so many items in pits before fleeing remains a mystery to archaeologists. Now, let's talk about the lost Maya. How can a civilization that flourished for the greater part of six centuries vanish? 
archaeologists in southern Mexico and northern Central America have been trying to answer this enigma for decades. The thriving Mayan civilization fell about AD 900, although the causes for this demise are unknown. According to scientific evidence, drought may have had a significant factor in the Maya's demise. According to a 2012 research published in the journal Science, when the Maya removed forests to make space for larger towns and farming, they may have unwittingly exacerbated the recurrent droughts that were their doom. Other researchers believe that soil degradation and declining prey populations, particularly white-tailed deer, contributed to the Maya's extinction. Other academics believe that changing trade routes as well as international political strife hastened the empire's downfall. What do you think is the true reason? Let us know about your thoughts in the comments section below. The next confusing discovery is the Khat Shabib. A 93-mile long stone wall would seem to have a clear function, but that is not the case with the Khat Shabib. This Jordanian mystery wall was initially documented in 1948 and archaeologists are still unsure why, when, or who erected it. The wall stretches north-northeast to south-southwest and includes areas where two walls run parallel to each other as well as places where the wall splits off. Though the wall is now in ruins, most of it would have stood around 3.3 feet high and 1.6 feet wide in its prime. It's improbable that the Khat Shabib was erected to keep out invading forces. It might, however, have been built to keep out less dangerous foes, such as hungry goats. According to researchers with the Aerial Archaeology in Jordan project, traces of ancient agriculture to the west of the wall imply that the construction may have acted as a barrier between ancient farmlands and nomadic farmers' pastures. Next, we will talk about the Holy Jar. Archaeologists have discovered several holy items, including jars, but discovering a holy jar was a first for the team. The jar, which was discovered in a bomb crater outside of London during World War II, dates back to Roman Britain, and scholars believe it was used as a light or as a type of animal cage for mice or snakes. According to archaeologists, these potential purposes are only informed assumptions. The strange-looking vessel is on exhibit at the Museum of Ontario Archaeology in Canada, where researchers are hoping to find someone who has seen a similarly holy jar and knows what it is used for. Up next, we are going to talk about Superhenge. And now for the mother load of enigmatic stones. Meet Superhenge, a colossal stone structure about two miles from Stonehenge in the United Kingdom. The massive monument, which is made up of stone monoliths, was discovered in 2015. The monoliths were discovered beneath the bank of the Durrington Walls by archaeologists. According to scholars, this Superhenge was most likely a part of a larger Neolithic structure of some kind. The original use of the stones is unknown, but archaeologists believe the 15-foot-tall slabs previously stood erect until being toppled over 4,500 years ago. The last discovery which we are going to discuss is the Kokno Stone. For the first time in more than 50 years, a prehistoric stone panel said to be the most important in Europe is being unearthed in Clydebank. The Kokno Stone was discovered in 3000 BC and is considered one of Europe's best examples of Neolithic or Bronze Age cup and ring markings. The stone, which is located next to a housing estate, was buried in 1965 to protect it from damage. A trial excavation last year revealed that modern graffiti is most likely extensive on the stone's surface. Well, this brings us to the end of our video. Don't be afraid to suggest future videos in the comments section below.